Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I decided to do a chit chat get ready with me, um, which is super exciting because I've never done this video before on my channel and I love watching these types of videos on YouTube. Um, so yeah, I wanted to record this for you guys. So in this video, I'm using a lot of new products. A lot of the products that I showed actually in my last haul, um, which was like the drugstore slash new makeup haul sort of thing. Um, but yeah, I wanted to incorporate a video showing all of those and a lot of the products I use here are drugstore actually majority of the product majority of the products that I use here are either drugstore or extremely affordable products so I really hope you guys enjoy this video um, it is super long so brace yourselves it's long but uh, yeah if you guys want to get ready with me to go nowhere basically because I'm not going anywhere after this I'm just filming more videos so um, yeah that's that's pretty sad actually, I have nowhere to go. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you guys are just checking out my channel for the first time, of course, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can keep updated with the rest of my videos. I'd love to have you in the family. Um, we're almost to 30,000 subscribers, guys. Like, how freaking crazy is that? I know, it is insane. But anyways, keep watching if you guys want to see me get ready with this face that I have on right now. Basically a month ago now, I mentioned, like I, I showed you guys like a haul of all the stuff that I got and um, I told you guys that I wanted to film sort of like a chit chat, get ready with me, um, of like the first impressions of all of these things. So I filmed that, um, but I wasn't really a fan of how the footage came out, so I wanted to re-record it for you guys. So I'm super excited because Shoppers just got NYX. NYX like the cosmetic company um, and honestly it was so hard to find NYX cosmetics in Canada and they had the skinny brow liners or sorry no the micro brow pencil um, so I got two I have one in espresso and one whoops and one in ash brown like my eyebrows look kind of crazy right now because I'm trying to grow them out because the lady um, that I got my eyebrows done at like a month ago completely F them up um, I kind of want to insert a clip because I have a clip of when I first filmed this so you guys can see my true frustration so I think I'm gonna plug that in right now and like they're completely different shapes like as you can see like what is that and then this lady had the nerve to tell me that's because it's my natural eyebrow shape like bitch it was not my natural eyebrow shape three months ago when I got them done <sighs> needless to say I'm never going back to that lady I knew I shouldn't because I go to Trade Secrets at Fairy Mall if any of you guys are from Toronto um, and there's like several girls that work in the back there and this other girl that I usually go to was busy so the other girl was like oh are you here for eyebrows and I'm like yeah and in the back of my head I'm like I should go to this girl because I already know she's gonna fuck them up pardon my French um, and she did so lesson learned so yeah anyways my eyebrows have started to grow a lot since that video so I'm really happy about that because I was just very frustrated in that moment. I'm not going to show this entire clip just because my eyebrows literally, guys, take me so freaking long. If you guys would like an updated eyebrow tutorial um, of like how I fill them in right now, let me know and I'll probably film that like once I'm off for summer break, which is actually very soon. I'll probably be gone or I will be gone in like exactly a month, so I'm super excited. Plus, I want to do it when my eyebrows are like freshly groomed and stuff because right now, they're a bit, uh, they're struggling a bit. This is the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Plumper. I just got this like maybe a month ago. <sighs> Guys, it is amazing. Like I kept hearing Kathleen Lights and this other girl, Amy Macedo, talking about it on YouTube and I couldn't find the colored one. I could only find the translucent one. Um, but then when I went to Walmart, um, I saw that they had it and I like grabbed it instantly. It was on sale too. So I was like, holla. Like once you put it in, your brows are not moving like all day. They are not moving. It's just such good quality. Like I used the Anastasia one before, like my mom has it. And honestly, I like this one way better. I feel like the color comes off a lot stronger as well. So if you have like very thin, um, light brows like I do, like naturally, then this will definitely help. It's so, so good. Uh, so for primer, I showed you guys that I recently got the NYX Angel Veil Primer. Really, really love this stuff. Um, it reminds me a lot of the Hourglass um, Mineral Veil Primer, but this does leave sort of like a weird white cast. So I like to mix it in with this Laura Mercier um, Radiance Primer, and this just adds a little glow as well. So but like, as you can see, like just as I put it on, I have this disgusting white cast but it does go away. Plus, when you put your foundation on top, 
it's gonna cover it anyways. This definitely helps your makeup go on a lot smoother um, because when I don't use a primer, like when I forget or something, my makeup just doesn't, like my foundation just doesn't go on as smoothly, I find. Today, I am remembering to color correct because I literally always forget to color correct. It honestly does make a huge difference. I was looking at like my videos pa this past summer when I didn't know what color correcting was and legit, I'm not even kidding, it looked like I had a 5 o'clock shadow um, because it's like naturally darker around here so when I put foundation over top of it, it just looked really dull and made me look like I had a 5 o'clock shadow and that is never really the look that I'm going for honestly. I'm Canadian, I'm from Toronto and um, Generation Beauty, which is like the Ipsy event, is happening in Toronto for the first time. So I just got my ticket um, and I'm so excited. I really hope I get to meet some of you guys. I mean, I don't know how many people from Toronto watch my videos, but if you do and you'll be in Toronto um, for Ipsy or for Generation Beauty, then please let me know down below because I'd love to meet you guys. I think that would be like really, really cool. I've never really been to a YouTube event before, um, so I'm a little nervous, but mainly really excited. Um, I have been getting a ton of new viewers lately, so if you guys just recently subscribed to me, thank you so much. Um, we're so close to 30,000 30, subscribers, which even just saying that out loud is so crazy to think about because last year at this time, I had like maybe 5,000 subscribers max so it's just like it's it's a great feeling so thank you guys so much but anyways because of that a lot of you guys have been asking why I always wear this hat it's out of pure laziness like honestly usually I wear like a turban style scarf or like the hijab or something but when I do like makeup tutorials I'm like too lazy to put that on but then also when I do and I'm like putting on my foundation it gets on the sides of my scarves and I'm not really I'm not really about that, so I just have this hat. I call it my designated makeup tutorial hat. So if you guys are ever wondering, that is the answer. In the month of May, first thing is I will be seeing Tori Kelly live in concert, which I am so, so excited about because Tori Kelly is someone that I've been following on YouTube since like I started watching YouTube, which was probably in like eighth grade or seventh grade even maybe. Um, so I'm just like really really excited about that and then after that comes Generation Beauty which will already be so exciting Generation Beauty I think is like May 14th and May 15th um, and then I am seeing Queen B yes I'm seeing Beyonce live in concert um, for her form formation tour in Toronto and I am guys I'm so freaking beyond excited for that I can't even like contain my excitement like when I bought those I skipped class to buy those tickets like that's how serious it was If you guys want me to vlog that or something then let me know because a lot of you guys have been asking for vlogs but I always tell you guys my life is not interesting at all so I wouldn't even know what to vlog but I think that would be definitely a very exciting event to vlog maybe even like generation beauty but I don't know you guys let me know right now I'm just using chickadee by makeup geek I did recently get this new shadow which I believe is mango or sorry Morocco which is like a bright orange so I'm gonna use that as well and I'm just going in with like a morphe what is this m505 brush I'm really hoping that this eye makeup look turns out nice because I don't really know what I'm doing right now guys I don't so anyways I have some really exciting news if you guys follow me on snapchat then you probably already know this but I did recently get accepted into my school's um, student abroad, like student exchange program because I want to study abroad in my fall semester. I'll be going into fourth year next year. I can't believe I'm even saying that. Like, saying that feels really, really weird that I'm almost done university. Um, but yeah, I'll be entering my fourth year and I really wanted to study abroad for one semester um, of university. That's been my goal since like first year of university. And yeah, so I recently got accepted and I will be going to um, Rouen, France. I'm sorry if I'm butchering that name. And yeah, I'm just so excited because I've always wanted to travel all around Europe and this is finally giving me the opportunity to. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with my YouTube channel to be honest. Um, I plan on filming videos while I'm there, but I don't know if they, they might just like be vlogs or something because um, with the whole internet issue and just I don't know it's gonna be really a confusing time for me so I'll have to figure that all out just living abroad in Europe for four months 
it's gonna be insane and I know I'm gonna have a great time and it's gonna be something that I'll look back on you know for the rest of my life and right now I'm just going in with Coco Bear which is the color I pretty much use in every single tutorial. Um, it's one of my favorites. Uh, oh, did I even mention that these are all Makeup Geek shadows? I don't even know if I did that, but these are all Makeup Geek shadows that I'm using. They're my favorite eyeshadows. Um, they're really inexpensive and they're amazing quality, amazing pigmentation, really easy to blend. So, so good. I love them. I'm gonna actually go in with a contour powder. This is, what is this? This is um, Deal Breaker. Um, contour powder by Makeup Geek and this is in warm deep. I'm just gonna try and pack this color all over my lid and hopefully this turns out well. I feel like I've been kind of like in a rut with my makeup. I only really touch warm colors and like browns and oranges and whatnot. Like I really am not very experimental which is why when I did that um, glamorous green makeup tutorial that was like the first time I've ever used like a color other than brown on my lids, like on my channel. So that was a huge thing for me and I'm so happy with how that turned out. So I want to be more experimental with my makeup. So if you guys have any suggestion, suggestions on like looks that you guys want me to do, um, then please let me know down below. Like send me a picture on Snapchat or something because I want to step out of my comfort zone a little more. Um, I am going in with um, Champagne Pop just to put a little pop into my brow bone. March was a crazy month for me. Basically we had a reading week, which is when I was uploading a ton of those videos with the sequin background. Um, but then once I came back, I had like a freaking like midterm. I had actually I had two midterms. I had like presentations, I had reports to do. It was just like a crazy month. So I didn't really have time to film then as well, but um, I do have a bit of a a bit of like a calm before the storm before I start uh, finals and stuff so I'm gonna try to film as much as I can so that I can still upload uh, once a week and consistently um, until my finals are over. So now I'm finally gonna move on to foundation and for foundation I'll be using the Maybelline Dream Velvet Soft Matte Hydrating Foundation. Mine is in the color 92 Caramel. You guys were asking me a lot about this. I showed it a lot on Snapchat and stuff but I really do like it. It's an interesting formula. It's something I've never used before like that this kind of formula or not formula texture I mean it's very moussey um, so it's a little hard to kind of work with and manage at first but I do really like how it looks on the skin um, and yeah it's a drugstore so that's exciting but what I like to do is just kind of smear it on I hate that word but smear it on with uh, my finger first and then once it's kind of evenly placed on half of my face, then I'll go in with a beauty blender. But yeah, I've been wearing this foundation a lot just for um, kind of every day whenever I do want to wear a foundation um, because it feels like I'm not really wearing anything. Like it's very lightweight, but it's still like full coverage. Not that I need full coverage, but if I'm gonna wear makeup, I might as well put full coverage on. Um, I'm either all in or nothing at all. My lips have been so, so dry lately. Like, I don't know what it is. Well, actually, I do know what it is. It's the freaking weather. Not that it's been really cold. It's been very mild in Canada lately, like where I live. And, and then for concealer, I'll be using my favorite, of course. This is the Maybelline Fit Me. Actually mixing um, the Pro Conceal, LA Pro Conceal. And this one is in Cool Tan. I'm gonna be mixing this and this together just to get a little more highlight action going. But anyways, while I'm doing this, I just want to address something. I get a lot of questions about um, my ethnicity. And I've mentioned this many, many times, um, so I'm sure a lot of you guys that are watching this probably already know this, but I'm Ethiopian. I'm not Somali. I get questions like that so much. I actually, it's very strange. People will have like debates in my comment section, like minutes after I've just explained in my 13 minute long ethnicity tag that I am in fact Ethiopian. But people, you know, still want to believe that I'm Somali, which is, um, I guess, you know, if you want to believe that, cool, but um, I'm Ethiopian. Both my parents were born in Ethiopia. Now, I don't know what the hell my heritage is from 700 years back. Could be Somali. I don't know, but all I know is I am Ethiopian. I have love for Somalis. I have a ton of Somali supporters, and I love you guys. Nothing against them, honestly. I'm just, I'm not Somali. Okay, so now I'm going to bake my under eyes. 
so that I uh, don't get any creasing. I'm just using my Ben Nye banana powder. But first I want to make sure there's no creasing because if you try to bake when there already is creasing, it's just going to be a hot creasy mess. You don't want that. But yeah, these next couple videos are going to be the last ones you guys will ever see of this background, which is actually quite sad because um, since I'll be going on my exchange, I'm not re-signing the lease here. It's so sad. I love this room. Like, God, guys, like this is my... This, this is like everything my room could possibly have for me to be happy. Um, but I'm going to try to recreate it because I, I think I'm going to move to the basement in my house, um, like in my parents' house, because, um, I don't know, I just don't really like my room. It's really small, and honestly, the only I, it's there's like a bed and then my filming equipment, and it's just very... I'm not, I don't know, I'm just not a huge fan of it, so um, I talked with my dad and he said he'd be cool with me moving to the basement, so maybe I'll just like, you know, recreate it um, to look like this. Um, this is Complicated by Makeup Geek and this is one of their contour powders. I really, really like it. Um, and I'm going to take this broken angled brush because it decided to break and um, I need an angled brush still, so I'm going to have to use it. But this is a um, in cool medium. Oh, sorry, this is like the cool medium one, but it's in the shade complicated. Um, it is complicated to explain. <laughs> so funny. I really, really like the Makeup Geek contour powders. I realize I'm using a lot of Makeup Geek in here, but honestly, they've become one of my favorite makeup brands in the past like couple months. They are just so great. Their price point is on point. And they're like, you know, they're just great. I love supporting, you know, YouTubers and stuff. And Marlena started off on YouTube, so she knows what we all love. And she just creates amazing, amazing products. And now I can finally brush off all this powder. So I'm just going to use this small little tapered... I think this is like a tapered highlighter brush, yeah. But I like it for under my eye because it fits perfectly in there. You know? And a little closer to my lash line, I'm going to be taking... Um, this dark shade. I think this is the one that I used all over my eyelid. Okay, so I went a little heavy on the wing, but you know what? It's all good. I'm kind of liking how this makeup tutorial is going. I've never done something this brown and sultry, so I'm kind of excited. I believe these are the Kara eyelashes, the Demi Wispy ones. I could be wrong, but I'm 90% sure these are the ones. I've been really into lashes lately. I'm definitely getting better at applying them. I kind of want to show you guys up close. Maybe I will. Okay. This is what they look like. Kind of have to focus this. Yeah, these are what the eyelashes look like. They're very wispy at the ends and they kind of have that crisscross action going. I really, really like them. They're also a little darker at the base, which is nice. Felt like my face wasn't as contoured as I wanted it to. So I used the um, City Color Contour Effects and I used the darker color right over here. I love this palette. It's only $8. I showed it in that um, um, drugstore haul that I recently did and um, yeah, I've been really liking this if you guys were wondering and I do recommend it. The one right there, I'm not a huge fan of that. I've never used it, probably never will, but overall for $8, I think it's a really great deal. It's Rimmel Scandalize um, Waterproof Mascara, or not Mascara, Waterproof Eyeliner and uh, this is like a nude color. And I love doing this, especially when I have kind of like a bold eye look. I feel like it just brightens up my eyes a little more. For mascara, I'll be using an oldie but a goodie. I just got this as well. This is the L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black Mascara. I used to be obsessed with this stuff, um, but it's so freaking expensive. So I haven't bought it in a while, but it was on sale at Shoppers, so I snatched that up real quick. Usually when I do eye looks, I don't really put mascara on my lower lash line. I kind of just like the doe-eyed effect with no mascara, but um, I don't know. I just wanted to try it out today. I don't want to go too heavy on blush, but I do want to use this because I haven't showed it on my channel other than that haul, but this is the City Color Be Matte Blush, and this is in the shade Guava. These blushes are amazing. They're so, so pigmented, but they're like I don't know, they're just like a gorgeous color. Um, I have um, the shade Blood Orange as well, and I really like that. It's like, it's so, so nice, but it's really, really bright. Like, hella bright. It's like a bright pink compared to this. Um, but I do really like it, especially when I have like a very minimalistic look going on. Super pretty. 
using the Sephora, what is this called? Radiant Luminizing Drops. So, so pretty, guys. Like, if you guys haven't tried this out, I highly recommend it. Basically, it's like a liquid highlighter, but I use it as a base before I add, like, a powder highlighter. It's so pretty. Um, so I will show you guys that. I feel like the best way to apply it is kind of with a beauty blender. So I just dab a little in and then, like, dab it all over my hand and then apply it because then it'll be a little too harsh. Do you see that amazing highlight that it gives? That's without the powder. You will see once I put the powder on, it's like bam, in your face highlight, but it's so pretty. I'm gonna be using um, Becca's Champagne Pop. Just take a little because this can get heavy real quick, but I'm gonna place that right on top of where I just highlighted. Now for my lips, first I'm just going to remove any of that excess lip balm that I had on earlier. And then I'm gonna prime my lips. I finally got my own lip primer. If you guys knew I was using my roommates for like a super long time, but this is the ColourPop lip primer. I really like it. Um, I'd have to say after using the MAC one and this one as well, I do prefer the ColourPop one. And then I have a bit of a concoction here, so I'm gonna be using three different products. First one is MAC Chestnut Lip Liner. You guys know my obsession with this. Um, I'm also gonna be using ColourPop's Tool as well as um, Kat Von D's Lolita. This video is literally so freaking long, oh my god. I feel like I've been sitting here for hours. I have been sitting here for hours actually. I'm gonna go in with Tool by ColourPop. And then I take um, Kat Von D's Lolita, and this is just a teensy bit lighter than Tool, um, but I feel like, I don't know, it just adds, it adds something, and I like it. So I add this to the center of my lip, and then the top as well, and then I just kind of dab my lips together, and then I take my finger again and dab that into Tool. And it creates kind of like a subtle ombre. I already have big lips, so this doesn't really make a, dif a big difference for me, but um, if you're someone with uh, smaller lips, putting a lighter color in the center will definitely help like plump it up a little more. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna put a little more tool over here because it's a little lighter than I wanted. This is the Makeup Chill, or make sorry, Urban Decay Makeup Chill Setting Spray. I'm butchering that name, but this is the cooling and hydrating one, and I just like this because it makes my highlight pop a little more. So I'm gonna spray this all over my face. Forgot to highlight my inner corner, which uh, definitely makes this look. So I'm gonna be taking Shimmer Shimmer by uh, Makeup Geek, and what brush should I use today for this? Um, yeah, this could work. Very comparable to Max uh, Nylon. It's kind of like a champagne with uh, like gold shimmers so very pretty I'm gonna put that into my inner corner okay and that is pretty much the entire look I really hope you guys enjoyed this get ready with me style video I know it's super super long but you guys know me and how much I love to talk but if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and if you guys made it all the way Comment down below with the lipstick emoji so I know you guys made it all the way. But yeah, I know this video is long, so if you did make it all the way, I love you guys. Y'all are the re real MVPs. I can't even talk today. <laughs> if you guys are just checking out my channel for the first time, of course, make sure you subscribe down below for more videos from me. And if you guys have any requests, leave them down below as well. I'd love to see what you guys would like me to do next. Um, but yeah, I will talk to you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!